yes if you are a UI UX designer expert how many years and you are bored to death and it's taken so long for business to make up their mind and for you to actually get connected with the users and for you to get along with the developers because you think you know everything and the developers are uh, I'm not gonna say the word then it means that you are not excited about your job anymore and either you are unemployed right now or you will be unemployed very soon because if your enthusiasm is not there if your passion and all that is not there you don't deserve to have that job and that is simple and that's what I noticed with me I was in my last uh, not my last last but my last position and I was um, working with them and I wasn't excited about the product anymore I wasn't excited about them anymore I love the people that I work with but I wasn't excited about the whole thing anymore and I thought you know I'm gonna be let go at any point because I'm not excited anymore I need to find out what excites me what is important to me what is it that I want to do I'm a person that is full with fire full with excitement I love to talk and hug people I love to interact with people and I love to learn and all that was dying and I had to try to figure out why and I did it's because I want to share those things with you and um, you need to search in yourself to find out what is it that's going on if you're having a hard time finding a job please don't do what I did don't use your age as an excuse it is not I know there's a lot of young people out there that are very talented very very talented but they don't have the experience that you have so what I learned is to present myself as an expert willing to teach the young and willing to learn from the young which is different a lot of experts UI UX designers they don't care about learning about the young people learning from the young people and that's where you fail because I have a son he is 24 25 years old he is just filled with enthusiasm always showing me the next application oh my god you have to see this mom and when I have something that I create I show him because I want his opinion and you know what he always break it down he always tear it apart like like and sometimes I hate asking him but you know what if we want to learn we have to be willing to ask and for that it takes humility for that we must be humble we must be humble to ask someone what do you think about what I just did and be willing to have them turn it into tiny little pieces and then you learn from that if you are not willing to go through that you suck as a UI UX designer because you have to have humility in order to succeed if you think you know everything you already fail and that is something that I can tell you the next thing is you have to be curious you know I remember when I was first a graphic designer I was so excited about doing my work and everything and I go in and I'm like oh I have a vision I have an idea and I design all of these things and then it was like people would look at it and they were like oh, this is amazing then as a developer I started building stuff and then I noticed that it didn't work and then as a you know visual designer and transition into UX I learned that the more curious about I was about something the more I was willing to ask question and the data that they gave me which is like documents and documents and documents and I remember in those days when the requirement analyst they have given you like this, uh, uh, this entire document that you have to go through 
To me, it was about simplifying the whole thing. It was like really exciting to just read through it. I would stay until two, three o'clock in the morning just reading, 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 and coming up with all these things. And oh my God, I'm gonna put this like this, and this is this page is gonna navigate to this page, and this is gonna happen, and the floor is gonna be here, and this is the hierarchy, and all that. I was so excited about all of that. I was so curious about learning from the users. Who are the users? What is going on? And that curiosity about finding out who are the users, because yeah, they tell me, you know, when I got to the job, the users are this and the users are this, but that is their opinion. You need to find out what the users really are. It is your responsibility. And that is what curiosity helped. It helped you identify who the users are. You were so excited about meeting the users and taking their brain apart, pulling it and juicing it and putting it in your application, on your paper. It's really, really exciting, you know? And that is something that I started to lose because yes, business takes too long, the companies take too long, and nowadays a lot of the startup companies, they want you to create pretty wide frames. They don't want you to have they don't want to help you build wireframe based on users. It's based on this is what we want and this is what we need. Give us something pretty. And they don't understand that it doesn't work that way. It works with users. And if you as a company cannot make the designers work with users, you are creating a failed product from the beginning. If you just create a wireframe and you don't understand what the content is, that is not a wireframe. That is just boxes and images. It has to be clear of what is it that you are presenting. And a lot of these times, when I have been with these companies, they don't want to go through the basic process. They want you to create a beautiful, a high fidelity wireframe with just a whole bunch of colors and a whole bunch of pretty pictures and a whole bunch of things like if the product had finished. And that's how we fail because we have not gone through the process of figuring out what is it going to take to get to the pretty picture. And let me tell you that as a UI UX designer, If you don't have the humility and if you don't have the enthusiasm that is required to do your job, you are going to have a hard time. You have to be curious, otherwise you're going to get fired because eventually people are going to notice in your work that there is a lot of things that are missing. And let me tell you, it happens to me. I'm telling you because it happens to me. When you start losing passion and enthusiasm, you're not curious anymore. You are not interested in doing research because every UX person must be very focused on research. Researching the competitors, you know, the competitive analysis that you have to create. Researching, not because you have to give in a document, but because you really want to find out. What are the competitors doing right? And what are they doing wrong? What are you as a company, the company that hire you, what are they doing right? And what are they doing wrong? And then between your competitive analysis of what they are doing right or wrong and what you are doing right or wrong, you can figure out what is needed from all of that. That's what it's for. That's what the research is for. It's really to find out what users really, really, really want. It's not to create this document, 160 something pages that I don't want to read. And I don't want to give in to anybody because I don't want a document that it just have 100 and something pages and I'm going to give to someone. That's why most people hate UX people because they want to come in like expert and create all this documentation and give it to the developers and everybody else and business. And this is what I concluded from my research. The user says and the user, come on, come on. Your wireframe should conclude like this, very small. If anything, as 
small PowerPoint of this and this and this is what it is in a summary of a few pages. If you did more than 20 page summary, you went too far. Seriously, like it's too much. We want to create product. We don't want to build books, autobiographies. Okay, if that's what you want to do, then make that decision and go ahead and do that. But I am talking to you as a UI UX designer because if you continue to not be humble and not be curious and not do your research, you're gonna be fired eventually. You're gonna be let go and nobody's gonna be looking at your work. Another thing, with the curiosity part, you need to keep an open mind. An open mind, yeah. Because people, product managers, project managers, developers, just people in general, Going to see your work and they're going to have opinions about it and you know what the opinion is not always garbage you know the psychometrics people they usually have some great ideas they might not be as vocal as you and me but they have some great ideas and we have a lot that we can learn from people as ui ux people so don't come to me if you feel that you cannot take criticism, okay? Don't, don't, don't even send me an email. Don't even contact me through LinkedIn if you cannot take it. Because if you cannot take my opinion, you suck as a UI UX designer because people are gonna give you their opinion about your work. And you're not gonna say, oh, you offended me. Why you don't like it? My brother like it, my husband like it. Who cares if your brother like it? Who cares if your husband like your work? It is not for them. They are not paying you. It's a company paying you to create for users. And if a user or a business person or someone say they don't like it, your job is to find out why. Why? Tell me what, how I can improve. What can I do better? Ding! That's exactly what you have to do. It's not getting an attitude. And let me tell you, Miss Attitude here, that was a very hard thing for her to do at the beginning, but she finally did it. And she learned how to be, I can say it now, humble. <laughs> humble. And when you are humble, you can continue to live with passion because it allows you to ask questions, it allows you to be inquisitive, to be curious, and do a better job.